The algebra of matrices, adding and subtracting matrices. What are they? Matrices are an array of numbers. Y helps give approximate values of much more complicated calculations. Interesting fact, pea fowls are omnivorous. They eat many types of plants, flower petals, seeds, insects, and small reptiles such as lizards. Now let's take a look at the theorem on matrix properties. If all the matrices involved have the same dimensions, then all the following is true. Number one is like the commutative property addition, where the order doesn't matter. Number two is like the associative property of addition, where the grouping doesn't matter. Number three is like the additive property of addition, where adding a zero matrix doesn't change the original matrix. Number four is like the additive inverse, where the result is a zero matrix. Now, let's take a look at the examples we're going to be dealing with in today's video. Now, let's take a closer look at example one. Let's read the steps. Step one, check the dimensions. Step two, add or subtract corresponding spots. Step three, for the order of operations. Now, let's read the question. Find, if possible, A plus B. Matrix A is a two by two, with one and two in the first row, and four and five in the second row. Matrix B is also a two by two, with negative one and negative two in the first row, and negative four and negative five in the second row. Now, let's show our work. The first two elements that we're gonna add are in row one and column one in both matrices. So we have one plus negative one. Next, we have row one, column two, which is two plus negative two. Next, we have row two, column one, which is four plus negative four. And last, we have row two, column two, which is five plus negative five. Let's move on to the next step, which is simplify by adding or subtracting to get our resultant matrix. Let's add one plus negative one, which is zero. Let's add two and negative two, which is also zero. Let's add four plus negative four, which is also zero. And now let's add five plus negative five, which is also zero. Since we have all zeros in our resultant matrix, we have a zero matrix. And that is the answer for example one. Now let's move on to example two. Now let's read the question. Find if possible A plus B, where A is a three by three matrix, where we have one, zero, four in the first row, and negative two, five, seven in the second row, and three, two, negative one in the third row. And B is also a three by three matrix where we have one, negative four, negative three in the first row, zero, negative five, six in the second row, and two, four, negative one in the third row. Now let's show our work. The first two elements that we're gonna add are in row one, column one, in both matrices. So we have one plus one. Next we have row one, column two, which is zero plus negative four. Next we have row one, column three, which is four plus negative three. Next we have row two, column one, which is negative two plus zero. Next we have row two, column two, which is five plus negative five. Next we have row two, column three, which is seven plus six. Next we have row three, column one, which is three plus two. Next we have row three, column two, which is two plus four. And last we have row three, column three, which is negative one plus negative one. Now, let's move on to simplifying by adding or subtracting to get our resultant matrix. Let's add one plus one, which is two. Let's add zero plus negative four, which is negative four. Let's add four plus negative three, which is one. Let's add negative two plus zero, which is negative two. Let's add five plus negative five, which is zero. Let's add seven plus six, which is 13. Let's add three plus two, which is five. Let's add two plus four, which is six. And lastly, let's add negative one plus negative one, which is negative two. And there we have it, the resultant matrix for example two. Let's move on to example three. Let's read the question. Find, if possible, A minus B, where matrix A is a three by three matrix. And in row one, we have one, zero, four. In row two, we have negative two, five, seven. And in row three, we have three, two, negative one. And matrix B is also a three by three matrix. And in row one, we have one, negative four, negative three. And in row two, we have zero, negative five, six. And in row three, we have two, four, and negative one. Now, let's show our work. The first two elements that we're going to subtract are in row one, column one, in both matrices. So we have one, minus one. Next, we have row one, column two, which is zero, minus negative four. Next, we have row one, column three, which is four, minus negative three. Next we have row two, column one, which is negative two minus zero. Next we have row two, column two, which is five minus negative five. Next we have row two, column three, 
which is 7 minus 6. Next, we have row 3, column 1, which is 3 minus 2. Next, we have row 3, column 2, which is 2 minus 4. And lastly, we have negative 1 minus negative 1. Now, let's move on to simplifying by adding or subtracting to get our resultant matrix. Let's subtract 1 minus 1, which is 0. Let's subtract 0 minus negative 4, which is 4. Let's subtract 4 minus negative 3, which is 7. Let's subtract negative 2 minus 0, which is negative 2. Let's subtract 5 minus negative 5, which is 10. Let's subtract 7 minus 6, which is 1. Let's subtract 3 minus 2, which is 1. Let's subtract 2 minus 4, which is negative 2. And lastly, let's subtract negative 1 minus negative 1, which is 0. And there we have it, the resultant matrix for example 3. Now, let's move on to example 4. Now, let's read the question. Find, if possible, A minus B, where matrix A is a 1 by 3 matrix, where we have in row 1, 1, 2, and 3, and matrix B is a 3 by 1 matrix, where we have in row 1, 1, and row 2, 4, and in row 3, 7. Now, let's start our work. Wait a minute. It says A minus B is not possible. Why is that? Well, that is because the matrices are not the same dimensions. That means not possible is the answer for example 4. Now it is your turn, so go ahead and pause the video so you can take your time to answer this question and I will show you the result in 3, 2, and 1. If you got it correct, awesome. If not, there's always tomorrow.